Oops. Hi guys. Welcome to the Juggalettes R Us. Uh, this is our show. I'm Twisted J. This is our show. Oh, this is uh, Juggalo Family Vloggers. And um, I'm Batgirl Jamie. I'm Twisted J. And we're here to tell you what vinyl we've been listening to the most this month. I personally have been listening to Nirvana's Bleach Like Heck and um, Senses Fail Like Heck and John Denver's Greatest Hits and Fall Out Boy's American Beauty, American Psycho. Those are records I've been absolutely obsessed with. Um, I've actually been listening to a little bit more punk rock stuff. I've been <laughs> listening to the Circle Jerks. And, Which one? Uh, Which Circle Jerks? Live one? at the House of Blues. Um... I've also been listening to a little bit of um, propaganda, uh, failed states, and oh, let's see. What's your favorite song off that one? Off of propaganda? Yeah, my favorite um, one off the Nirvana Bleach album is uh, I'd have to say since I got it right here, Negative Creep, Love Buzz, About a Girl. And probably Floyd the Biber and Mr. Mustache. What's your favorite I one? I would probably say... What's your favorite one Note of the propaganda album? Probably Note to Self or... Um, oh, I really don't know. Um, oh, my favorite song of the John Denver album is Leave It On a Jet Plane and Take Me Home Country Roads. I think. That's it. What was your favorite one off the first one? You, what was the first one? You um, Circle Jerks. I would probably have to say, um, since it is live at the House of Blues, um, I would probably say the song I, 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 and I. My favorite song off the American Beauty, American Psycho album from Fall Out Boy is probably Irresistible, Oma Thurman, and, um, I can't remember the name of the song, Jetpack Blues. And another band that I've been in, actually a couple of other bands I've been into lately, I'm vinyl. is the band All, um, which I have the album Nerder, and also um, Tools Opiate. What's your favorite songs off them? Um, All, I would probably say, I'm, I'm going to have to go off cue with this, um, let's see. Because I know I have it. Uh, sort of. Because I always have it right on my Spotify also. <laughs> um, let's see. Take these. The song I like the best off the Census Fail album here. Is and it's a song I'm very obsessed with. It's called "The Importance, Importance of the Moment of Death and Dying Words and Pull the Thorns from My Heart" are my favorite off this album. Um. Yeah, that's side side two is obviously my favorite. I am gonna say, uh, the world's on heroin. Which, that's really kind of a song about people that use Who heroin. Who sings that song? The band All. He bought it at Hot Topics on a whim, and he really ended up liking it. And what we do, what we do when we go to Hot Topics is we look through the vinyl really quick. This is a tip. You look through the vinyl really quick, and if you got Spotify, it's great for looking up the album and finding out whether you like it or not. Because you can get snippets of, you can listen to a little bit of each song and get get a feel for it. That's what I did when I bought my Matchbook Romance and um, my Senses Fail album. And also the song Until I Say So. That's by the band uh, all. Which, let's see. Um, 
Which I also do have. Let's see, where are there you? There isn't that many songs on that album. I was going to say, this is my punk rock on final. Because I did have a collection of stuff that I did buy from California. Okay. <coughs> That's what we've been liking on vinyl this month. That's what we've been, like, really listening to. I don't think I listened to much of anything else. I've been kind of, kind of really obsessed with this Census Fail album. Which I would actually and even highly recommend that one. This album. This Nirvana's Bleach album. Them are the two I've been listening to the most. I really like that Nirvana album. I usually just rest my record on the back of my my record case in the back of my record player when I'm playing it so that when I'm done I'll know where it's at and I can find it really quick. That way I can put my record away, that way I can be very careful about not scratching them. Never touch the record actual stuff, just touch the very edge or like the paper part because it's very important that you don't fingerprint up the record. It'll make it sound it'll make it sound muddy. That's a tip for you guys. I just like to I like to give little tips. And if you can get one of these really cool disc washers, before you use them, go online and find a video on how to use it because you'll use it wrong if you don't. It'll tell you what every piece in the record disc washer kit is for. And like I was about to say, I highly recommend both the Census Fail and the Nirvana album. That Nirvana album is the cheapest Nirvana album you can get. That's why it's the only Nirvana album I got because it was less than 20 Every other Nirvana album is like 30 Yeah. And Nirvana on vinyl is key. Oh, and if you got a record player, even if you got like one of those... uh suitcase record players, I highly, highly, highly recommend finding a way to hook it up to speakers. Best decision I ever made. If you can get one, <coughs> if you can get one <coughs> hooked up to speakers, you never regret it and you'll thank me forever. I keep telling him he needs to hook his up to speakers. Yeah, which... I do use a little por a little portable speaker for mine. And if you don't use a good portable speaker for it, it's not going to sound like shit. It's still going to sound like shit. But I you right now I don't have a I don't have a direct in access like cable for my actual. You can series. buy those on Amazon for less than to five for about five bucks, Josh. But I'm just saying I'm like I don't you have need one to get right one. now. But. That's the best freaking way to listen to your vinyl. I'm telling you. If you have a stereo that you can actually hook your record player up to, best decision. Like if you got like a, a big stereo that you're playing CDs on yeah. and you have a way to hook your record player into that through the auxiliary, do it. You'll ne you'll thank me tomorrow for doing for telling you to do this. Yep. Make sure and, and if you can get a vintage record player that has speakers that that still works, they might play cassette players or not play cassette players. It don't matter. But if you can get one, get it. If you can get it cheap enough, because you'll never regret it. Because it'll sound better than these new ones. The vintage ones are way better quality because they back then they cared more about their vinyl than they do today. <laughs> but that's what records we've been listening to. If you got any suggestions on records, and you know the records less than tw twenty or less, recommend that you think we might like. Check out, comment below, and if you know anywhere where we can get any way we could get free vinyl, um, really cheap vinyl without having to, without having to buy used, and you know a place online that you can get it, and you know that it's really good to get, and it's cheap. And you know that we can get what we would like? Comment below so we can know. And we share our tips with you guys like buying the um, clearance vinyl at Hot Topics and going to Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble is a really great place to buy because you can get vinyl for 20 and less. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so you know when we have new videos and become a member of the Juggalettes R Us family. So you know when the Juggalo family vloggers have new videos. Thanks for watching. Laters. Goodbye. We love you. Thanks for watching. 
Thanks for subscribing, and if you're a returning viewer, we doubly thank you. Bye!